welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do this very cute little micro mini album. And uh, the original idea, or at least um, the idea, I, or the lady I took it off of on YouTube here, is J and B Designs. And uh, she has a tutorial um, that she made September 28th, 2011. So I thought it was worth recreating and uh, giving it a try myself, and hopefully you guys might want to try it too. So I was recently at a scrap retreat and and uh, made this little album and ended up te teaching a class on, on this little mini album. Uh, just a little group of us had a little class or whatever. So I thought this would be a great YouTube video to do as well. So. Um, yeah, I will leave a link to J and B Designs in the description so you can check out her video. And I know there's probably other ones on YouTube as well, but this is this is how big it is. Like it it is just teeny tiny. So um, so we have a cute little binding, and then it's got all these little pockets here and little flip page page tags or whatever that come out of here. And just a really fun uh, little little book. So this is just a single tag, and then it just keeps repeating. So you've got little flip up, and then the regular little tag, and then again a little flip up, and then another little tag in the back, and then it's closed with this piece of twine on a brat. So I will take you through what you will need and then we'll get started. For tools, you will need your paper turn. Oh, I'll zoom this out here. Oops, let's get this get this out. So you'll need your paper trimmer, um, some liquid adhesive. I'm using the Art Glitter Glue. Um, 3M Scotch Tacky Glue would also be a good one, but I'm almost out of that one, so. And then I have a little half inch uh, circle punch and bone folder if you want to use that. I've got a black ink pad and then we've got some lace trim for, for embellishment. And I've also got some I Am Roses, little mini roses. We'll see if we'll use those. So you will need like a medium size, like a medium size brad. So I just have this recollections pack. And then I've got this, I just picked this up at the dollar st store. They're kind of like epoxy stickers, but they're all these little vintage ones. And then I also have these little uh, Maya Road cameras from my stash here. So, and of course we'll need some twine. So whatever color matches your matches your paper that you're going to use. So you will need a sheet of 12 by 12 paper and this is from Kaiser Craft. I think it's one of their basics or whatever. You will need some little chipboard pieces. These ones are two and a quarter by two and a half so I'll leave some measurements in the in the description box as well or you can follow along as well. So I've got a piece of black cardstock and a piece of white cardstock, just because it matches my paper. And this is going to be used for our little tags and flip-ups. Okay, so I'll just move some of this out of the way. So the first thing you want to do with your 12 by 12 piece of paper, and I'm trying to decide how I want this, so... So you want a little bit heavier of a cardstock. Not too heavy, but but kind of a medium weight cardstock pattern paper. I tried using the very thin stuff, like the Karen Foster stuff. It it just wants to tear, and it doesn't give a very thick book either. So we're going to cut... It's on the bottom of my... There we go. We're going to cut two pieces that are two, in, two inches by 12 inches. So... There's one piece. I'm just going to do another piece. Just like that. 
Okay, we'll set that piece aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to score these. And we're going to score at two inches. And then at four inches. And then at six inches. And then at eight inches. And then again at ten inches. So it's every two inches you're going to make a score line. So I don't know if you can see. You can see on the back. So it's every two inches. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. So at two inches. And then again at four inches. And then again at six inches. Eight inches. And then the last one at 10 inches. So yeah, every two inches. So then we have it like that. So then we don't need our paper trimmer for now. So we'll just set that aside. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to accordion fold this. So you're going to fold the first one down and then just continue. And you want to just kind of line it up just to make sure that they're... Sometimes the, the paper shifts when you're scoring. So you just want to make sure that they're they're lining up and straight. I'm sorry for the shadow. When I turn the light on in my room, then it's then I get all kinds of other shadows. So um, I'll try and fix that in the editing, I guess. Okay, so then you have one that is like that. And you're going to do the same thing with the other one. Like so. And that one folded really nicely. Okay, so I guess we will need our paper trimmer again. So I'm just going to set these up here. And I'm going to grab our paper trimmer again. And now we're going to cut a piece that's one inch wide. this paper trim, trimmer cuts crooked. I haven't had one yet that cuts really nice and straight, so maybe I have to look for something new. <laughs> okay, so we're going to cut, so we've got our one inch strip, and we're going to cut this into three two inch pieces. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then we're going to take these pieces and we're going to score them down the center. So I've laid it kind of the long way, and then we're just going to um, score it at half inch, so right down the middle. Or you can, or you can just simply just fold them in half too. That would work just fine. I just always like to score it. it. Keeps it from being wonky. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and score those. And you want to score so that the pattern side, like this is one-sided paper, so the pattern is inside the fold. So let's fold that a little bit better. And then again. And then you'll also need to take your scissors. Grab my scissors here, and then you're just gonna when you fold it up with the with the fold side on the bottom, then you're gonna just trim at an angle. I don't know if you can see that, and you do it on the other side. So the fold is on on that long side. So then your piece should look like that, and you do that to all three pieces. So fold on the bottom, and then cut in and again for the last one and it doesn't have to be perfect like this one isn't exactly squared because you're not going to see it when, when uh, we attach it to the, the pages so yeah they're all going to look like that it doesn't have to be perfect these ones because like I said we're not going to really see them 
Okay, so now we're going to get our little accordion folded pieces back. And then you're going to take some of your glue. You can use you can use dry adhesive for this too, but I just wanted to keep it simple and just use one glue. So I'm just going to add glue to one side. And then I'm going to place this one on top of it and line it up almost to the score line, like making sure that I can still fold this. Okay. And then I'm going to add glue to the other side. Hopefully this isn't too shadowy. So I'm adding glue to this side. Or I'm adding the second one in, like we're adding, making them end to end. <laughs> I can't talk today. So we just want to really secure that. So yeah, your piece is, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of on there. Okay, so then you've got this really long 24 by 2 piece that's for accordion folded. And then you're going to take one of the other pieces and you're going to put adhesive on one side and attach it underneath the end, like so. Making sure that you can fold this, just like that, wipe off with a little extra glue. And then you're going to take the other piece, add some glue, making sure you can fold that. There. So the next step, we're going to take our half inch uh, circle punch and I'm just going to do, starting with on, starting the, with the left side, we're going to, on the first little square, we're going to just cut a little tab notch here. A little notch, I don't know if you can see that, so there's a little, little notch in there. My paper isn't probably the best one for this, for this uh, table. Um, and then we're going to skip one, and then we're going to do it on the next one, centering it between the two score lines, and we're just going to continue every other square, or every other section, just continue till we get to the last one. So you're only inserting it halfway in and then centering it. So that's our last one. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, six little pages with notches in it, or parts with notches in it. So now we are going to put this together to make our little book. So I like to just fold these all together. It just helps me know where I am. And then I'm starting on on the very the right side end and where that notch is I am going to add my glue to the side and to the bottom and then we're just going to close this up and then just secure it Okay, I kind of let go here. So then we've got our first page this way, and then we're gonna continue doing that for all the all the backside pieces. So on every little notched notched thing, you're gonna add the glue to the side and to the bottom. So the notch is at the top. And then again on this one. And then our next one. And 
And yeah, just continue till you get to the very end. Okay, so that should end like that. So you've got your two little flaps on this side. And then you've got your pages. So that would be your first page, second page, third page, fourth page, fifth page, sixth page, seven, seven pages, six pages, sorry. And then each one of these has like a little pocket. So now we're going to make the cover. So we're going to get our trimmer out again. And we're going to cut some of this paper. So I'm going to cut this way. So you're going to need um, two pieces that are the same size as your chipboard. So two and a quarter by, by um, two and a half. So I'm just going to... Quarter by two and a half. There we go. And you're going to cut four of those actually, sorry. So, there, that fits there. So, I'm going to just cut two more. Does this one fit? Okay, so that one's good. So, I just have to cut, I just have to cut one more. Two and a quarter, and then two and a half. There we go. Okay, so I think these two pieces are going to be on my inside, and these two pieces are going to be on my outside. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue these onto our chipboard. So these chipboard pieces are two and a half by two and a quarter as well. And I'm using a heavier chipboard. You don't have to use a heavier one, but it does look nicer if you use a heavier chipboard. Just add my glue. And again, you can do this with dry adhesive too. I just wanted to make it simple and just use one glue. Alright. I'm going to take our bone folder and just really burnish that down. Wipe off any excess glue sticking out. And then we've got our second one. Stick that on there. Okay. Burnish that. Any excess, and if your pieces are just a little off, you can you can trim them here. All right. Okay, and I'm just gonna take my black ink, <laughs> which I should have done on the pages, but yeah. So I'm just gonna go around the edges on this one. using the VersaColor black ink. And, yeah, one thing I should mention <laughs> is uh, before you fold this up, which I totally forgot to do, you can ink this up, but it's not lost, so I do want to ink this. So I'm just going to go on the outer edges here. I'm not going to worry about the inner corners too much. a lot easier to do this before you glue it together. So yeah, 
just going to quickly ink this through. I'm going to fast forward through that. So I'm just, for those of you that have never inked anything, you, this is a sponge top ink pad and it it works really good for this. Otherwise you can use any inks with like a, a sponge dabber of some kind. So I'm just rubbing the very tip of the ink pad on the edge. I'm kind of like, it's like I'm scraping off the ink pad onto the paper is kind of how it's it's like. So I'm just going to do that and then just adding a little bit around that little notch there. Okay, a couple more pages. And like I said, this is a lot easier if you do this beforehand, before you glue it together. But if you forgot to do it, this is how you do it if you forgot to do it. <laughs> Which happens. <laughs> around the edges. Let's get that little notch there. And then the very last page. You don't have to do the little flaps because you're not going to see those. Those are going to get covered with paper. Alright. So there we go. All inked up. And then I'm just going to take these two inside cover pieces and just ink those as well. Okay, so now we're going to attach our little book to our inside and outside cover. So here's the front, and this is the front page the with, with the little knot on the first part. So I am going to add some glue to this flap that we added onto here. So I'm just going to add some glue onto there. Alright, and then we're going to attach this. You want to kind of go to the bottom, more to the bottom of your of your um, cover and leave like a bigger space on the top so it kind of looks like you've got this bigger space here and a little space here so I'm just gonna press that in and you want to go right up to the edge like matching your fold line with the edge of the chipboard like so and then we're gonna do the same thing with the back cover my glue and then I'm just going to make sure that I have it facing the right way. So this is the top, this is the bottom. So there we go. And then I can kind of close this and line it up with the top and the bottom so that they're the same height and not crooked. And I'm just going to press that in. I'm going to really Burnish that on there and on the front as well. So yeah, then you have your little cover. And now we're going to need a piercing tool. I'm just going to grab my piercing tool. I'm sorry, I should have grabbed that. Okay, I don't know where my piercing tool went. <laughs> I thought I had all my tools in one place after coming back from the crop, but obviously not. So I just grabbed a safety pin with a like a wider safety pin. So you're going to poke a hole right in the center. So kind of, I'm just eyeballing it, so kind of where the center is and then about a quarter of an inch in. So I'm just going to make a hole. You can use, you can use your crocodile too. That would work just fine. Just use it on the small hole because we're going to stick a brad through here. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to see where that is. Just make a little mark. Okay, so then I'm going to come back and do the back side here. And if you're using a safety pin like me, I just poke it through and then I just kind of wiggle it so that the hole gets bigger. So I gotta fit twine through here, so, so you just wanna wiggle that. Or if your piercer is just like more of a narrow one. 
Okay, so we want to get a brad. So I'm just gonna grab these. And you can use whatever color you want. I think I'm going to use the silver one because my paper is more in the grays. Inside, although the cover is more in the browns, but the inside's more in the grays. Let's see. Obviously haven't used this one yet. Oops. Okay. So I'm just going to grab my there we go. Put these back in. Okay. So then you want to add your brad into that paper here. And you don't want it to go, um, oh boy. That's not quite big enough. I might have to use my crop at all. safety pin. Try and get that to go through. There we go. So you want to leave a little bit of a gap to fit your twine under. So I don't know if you can see there. About like that. Maybe. Oh. So now I'm going to open these up. You want the twine to be tight too, so. And I'm just going to make sure I I turn my pieces kind of. So that they're facing up and down. That way they can be covered by the paper. And then we're going to grab some twine, and you don't need a very big piece for this. So I'm going to take about, let's see how long is this, it's about five inches long of black twine. And I'm just going to thread that through my hole, hopefully, my hole isn't very big. Sorry, I'm off camera here. Let's try to wiggle this. And you can use a needle and thread to get this through too. Can I grab it? I'll almost grab it. I've got my quick stick here. That one's got, it's got a tapered um, piercer on it, so we're just going to get that in there. That'll help see. That made the hole much bigger here. Okay, so we're going to thread this through, and then we're just going to tie this into a double knot. And then I'm just going to let this tail, this tail piece kind of go down on the cover like that. Okay, and now we're going to attach our inside cover pieces. So I'm going to take our glue. And because we have that little tail piece in 
in underneath there that's going to help secure this this um, twine a little bit better as well so it's not going to come unraveled okay now I'm going to do the same for the front down where that where that brad is till your glue is holding. You can use little clamps to hold it too. So I noticed my paper is just a slightly larger here so I'm just gonna trim trim that off and then I'm gonna come back and ink the edges. So I'm gonna do that all together on the top and bottom too just just to give it that finished look. There. I don't have to do the back side because that's going to be covered. So there we have the start of our little book, and then you can wrap this around to close it. So now we're going to make our binding piece. So we're going to need a piece of cardstock. So we'll get our paper trimmer out again. Okay, and I've got my black piece of cardstock, and I'm going to cut a piece that is one and a half inches by two and a half inches. Just like that. Oops, get that out of the way. And then we're just gonna just curl it over. We're gonna just try and get some curl to it. So we can use something cylindrical to do to that, to wrap it around there. Okay. And then we're going to glue this on to our other book. So I'm just going to add glue probably about quarter inch, half inch in. I don't know if you can see that. And this is a good place to use dry adhesive too. So. And then we're just going to place that on here. Make sure it's straight. Just press that really good on there. And then we're going to do the same to the other side. So I'm just going to add some glue there. I'm just going to bring it, I'm going to make sure that my two edges are lining up. So I'm just going to, and I'm just going to hold that in place till it sticks. Like so. Dry adhesive is probably better for this this part here. Okay, looks like that's gonna hold. So now I'm gonna take a few pieces of twine here, where's my end? And I'm gonna cut. I'm just gonna use my 
book as a measurement starting from the edge of the binding to the other edge. And I'm just going to cut five pieces that length. So we got one, two, three, Okay, so then we're going to take our liquid glue and we're just going to, from about a quarter inch down, we're going to add a very thin strip of glue right around the edge. Right there. And then we're going to take our twine piece and just Hold that in place until it stays put. And we're going to continue to do that with the rest of the pieces. So I'm going to start from the, the next piece, I'm going to start from the bottom just because I want everything to be evenly spaced. So a quarter inch from the bottom of the book. And again, hold the piece of twine in place till it sticks. doesn't take long with this glue. And then I'm going to go in the middle, right there, Oops. a little fuzz off my twine there. center of these two. It's a little bit easier to, to get the right spacing when you do it this way. So we'll go right around. Hold that in place till it sticks. And then the last one. So this is going to make it look like it's a vintage book. Oops. trim this piece a little bit. It's a little bit too long. Okay, and it doesn't matter if they don't quite match up because we're going to cover them with with our our piece of lace. So, so you're going to cut two pieces of lace that are the length of your book. So I'm just going to eyeball that. It's two and a half inches in case you want the actual measurement. And there. And then I think I am going to grab some dry adhesive for this one. Yeah. So I'm just going to use my quarter inch um, soup weighing tape or score tape. And just eyeball. Put it on here. Usually I would use a glue gun for this. It works really good for attaching textile stuff. Okay, so I'll take that off and then I'll just overlap the binding pieces just a bit. Just attach that like that. Alright, I'm going to quickly do this and then it looks like my battery is going to die so I'm just going to recharge it and feed my family and then... Oh, here I'm using it liquid glue. So, this works too. Just have to wait for it to dry, I guess. Okay, so... Just gonna attach that, make sure it's spaced the same distance as the other one. Okay. Just to make sure my my lines are straight. Okay, so I'm just gonna charge up my battery and then I will be back. Alright, I'm back and my family is fed and the light has changed. I had to turn on my light so then I have the, have the shadow from my tripod here so hopefully you'll still be able to see see things clearly. Okay, so we finished 
doing the basics of the outside. So we're going to continue on the inside. We're just going to we're going to make a, the little pocket here. So um, I'm going to take a piece of my let's see. Take a piece of my pattern paper and I'm going to cut it at 1 inch by 3 inches. And I'm going to cut two of those pieces. No, I have a one inch piece over here, so I'm going to go three inches here. And then I'm going to score these pieces at a quarter inch on each end. So just do both sides of that. And this one. And you can, I, hope, I don't know if you can see, it's scored, uh, kind of lost, oh there we go, <laughs> a little bit. Okay, and this one's scored too. Okay, so then we're just going to trim these off at an angle, just at the score line to the end of the paper, just on all the corners, like that. And the same thing on the other side, or the other piece, I mean. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our inside cover here. Try and keep that open. So I'm going to fold back those score lines. So it, I don't know if you can see how that looks. And we're just going to apply some glue onto one of the end pieces. So just apply that. And then we're going to attach it at the very top inside. Like you're going right, right to the corner here. So, and right up against the top. And then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to go down this far side here and this little flap. And then we're going to stick that down together with the flap folded under. Just like so. And then we've got our little, little pocket there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the on the back side cover, so with our other piece. And again, we're just going to do the top first. And stick that down right along there. And then we're going to add our adhesive to this edge. and the very top of the flap here. And we're going to stick that down together, folding folding the flap under and matching to the edge. And just really rub that. This one we can't see as much, so then we've got our pocket there. <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and make some tags. So you'll need your that aside. You need your cardstock, and we're gonna cut. We're gonna get four pieces at one and a half inches by four. So I think I'm gonna cut the four inch piece first, just like that. And then I'm gonna turn this and cut four one and a half inch pieces. So there's one. these at two inches. So let's score all of them. Just like that. And then we're gonna um, 
actually at first we'll, we'll cut another, so we're going to need um, another four, two inch by one and a half. So I'm going to cut it at two inches, this piece, and then I'm going to cut four one and a half inch rectangles. I'm just using a scrap of black, and this is this is good to use up old paper or scraps. So we've got our four little tags here and these ones. So I'll just move these out of the way. And then I'm going to round the corners. Hopefully I'll find my corner chopper. Alright. You can use just a regular quarter inch rounder. So I'm going to round all these corners of these smaller ones. Let's quickly do that. Okay, and then with our 2 by 4 pieces we're going to fold them on the score line and then we're just going to round all four corners of that. So then when you open it up our piece looks like that. Here. So we're going to continue to do that with the rest. Okay, so now we're going to put these aside for now, and then we're going to take our white piece of cardstock, and I'm just going to cut a one and three quarter inch strip here, and then these are making my little photo mats here, so I'm going to one and three quarters by one and a quarter. So we're going to cut, uh, let's see, one, two, I mean you can do all of them, but I'm just going to do the top side and the inside, but you can certainly do all four sides if you want this way. But I'm just going to do that. So I need eight there, and another four, so I need twelve of these. So this one, And that's at one and a quarter inches by one and three quarter inches. So I need another four. So I'm just going to cut another strip at one and three quarters. And one and a quarter. So I need four more. Two. So now I'm going to take these white pieces and I'm going to round these corners. I'm just going to take a few at a time here. It's a nice thing about the corner chopper. The chomper is you can do several layers at a time. Need 
empty my chomper here. There we go. And then we're going to take these and we're going to ink all the edges of these. Oh, we missed one. Okay. So I'm just taking my black ink again and I'm just doing the same thing I did with the paper. I'm just scraping the side of my ink pad along there. And I just found a little detail stamp that I wanted to add to this. So I've just got this, it's a stamping up one. It's a came with a set with a whole bunch of tiny little words. Um, 2000 and, 2006, so. But yeah, look in your stash, see what you can find. So I'm just gonna stamp some little details on these little tags, just to give it a little, a little bit more interest. So I'm just gonna do that, and then I'll come back and and we'll assemble the tags. Okay, so we've got all our little pieces stamped. I think that looks so cute. Alright, so we're just going to attach these onto our tags like this with some glue. There we go, and then one on the inside. Okay, so that's one little tag, so that's going to go, we'll put this one into this little pocket here. And we've got our single one here. Just like so, and you can do front and back side if you really want to. And then this is going to fit into our little pocket here, just like so. Just kind of sticks out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, and so I'm going to continue putting those on the rest of the tags and we'll be right back and do some more finish work. Alright, so we've got all our little, little tags made, so I'm just going to insert them here. Let's put them into our little book. So these ones just slide in, you slide your four by one and a half inch piece and it just flips over and then you've got this little flip page and it comes out. So I'm just going to alternate every other one with a single and then a double. So I'm going to double. And that's why you needed the space here so they, they stick out, they stick out a bit. In the top, so okay, we did a double and a single. Okay, I must have missed one. Yeah, let's fix that. There, another single. Double goes here. And you could even put like more pattern paper on the other side. You could really decorate this up. Make it look really fancy. And then this one goes in here. And then we're just going to dress up the inside a little bit more. And it's going to make this book a little bit bulkier, but I, I don't mind. So I'm going to cut two more pieces of lace that are two and a half inches. I'm just going to measure this here. Oops. And then we're gonna, I'll just use my score tape this time. I'm just gonna put this along here. Alright, and then our little piece of lace. 
Let's trim off any extra here. There we go. So that just adds a little bit more something to the to the edge. It does it does make your book a little bit bulkier, but I don't mind that. So then I'm gonna get another piece for this side. You can use like uh, washi tape or or um, more of the paper lace for this too if you wanted. If you don't want that bulk in there. Okay, so another piece right here. So there you have the inside. We're going to call the inside done and we're going to work on our front cover. So because we have this nice twine here, we can really like secure that so that it doesn't quite look so bulky. So um, I'm going to take a little piece of white cardstock and uh, this one is it's about an inch wide. And then I'm just going to make it an inch and a quarter long. So it's kind of that way. I'm going to round the corners just to coincide with the rest of the rest of the um, tags and stuff. And then we're going to ink these edges. Just like that. And I'm going to use my stamp again, so I'm just going to do a little one on the bottom and a little one on the, on the top. So there we have our little, little stamped image. So I'm just going to attach this over here just to kind of look like a little um, title part. You can use like mini letters for to make a little title there too. That would be cute. All right. So we're gonna go up there. Is that crooked. Almost looks like it's crooked. Oh, it's on there now. Okay, so we've got some of these embellishments here. So I'm just wondering. Something, maybe a corner one or one of these guys. We'll just see what they look like here. Uh, that one's really pretty. Uh, this corner one here. Oh, I like this corner one. I think I'm going to use this corner one. And I don't trust the glue on these stickers, especially when they're from the dollar store. Because I've had lots of things fall apart using using dollar store stuff, so I'm just going to place this on here, just like that. That's really pretty. There, make sure it's nice and secure. And then I've got one of these little roses here. I can, I can maybe put one there. Put these stem roses too. Not sure if I'm gonna... Yeah, I kind of like that. So normally I would use hot glue, but I'm just gonna grab... What do I have here? I don't even have glue dots, so I'm just gonna blob some glue here. Make sure that I get a good good amount. And I'm gonna have to probably let this dry overnight before before I mess with it too much. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my water snips here. And I'm just gonna trim off my my little rose bud. These are from I Am Roses, like I said in the beginning. So now I've got this one. Let's see how far. I actually think I want it almost right up against the rose. So I'll just trim that a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. So now I'm gonna just blob some more glue on here. Like that. Stick it in there. I don't know, 
Oh, do I want another one on the other side? No. Okay, so, so that's kind of what we have so far. I think that looks so cute. Um, I do want to add some more things, like maybe some, some leaves or something. So I'm just going to check to see what I have, and I will be right back. Okay, so I just got my little box of die cut leaves. I like to, whenever I have time or whatever or extra, I can I sit down and just punch a bunch of leaves and stuff. So I'm just going to look in here and see what I've got. Got some sparkle. That That's kind of nice. I like that. And another one. Kind of hides that a little bit. I think I'll just trim these down a bit. I'll make them so that they're just three leaves instead of two, so, or instead of five, I mean. Yeah, so we'll just trim those down. That's really cute. Okay, I'm just going to glue those in. And again, I would probably be using my hot glue gun for this because I just like the instant sticking down and being strong, having it be strong there. So, glue this one down. Sorry, that was my son making some weird noises. you heard that. <laughs> oh, and my... Okay. So there we have, I would call this finished. So there we have our teeny little mini. And I'll show some screenshots at the end so you can have a better look at it. I think that looks so pretty and this is such a fun mini album to make. Here, maybe I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see it. Whoops. There we go. Yeah. It's such a fun little mini album to make. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, hit the little notification button, uh, the, the little bell at the bottom. And I will have um, a list of the supplies and um, the link to J J N B Designs so you can check out her video. And I want to thank her for making that video. I thought it was a very well done tutorial. So I hope you liked this video, and I hope you try this too, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.